Welcome to our instructional video series. In this video, we'll be showing you how to perform an acid wash on your Myox unit, specifically a Rio Zuni. Let's get started. Before starting, gather all necessary equipment. You will need one quarter inch ID vinyl tubing, three eighths inch ID vinyl tubing, 28 fluid ounces of recommended calcium carbonate cleaner, one liter container, paper towels or rags, one roll, soft water, pH strips, small flat screwdriver, and pliers. Step one. The first step is to ensure your Rio Zuni system is in standby mode. Refer to the initial system settings and startup section of the manual if you have any questions. Now that the system is in standby mode, place the on-off switch to off. Next, disconnect the oxidant tank level switches from the level switch connector. If your Rio Zuni is equipped with the optional integrated brine water tank assembly, then it's as simple as turning off the water inlet valve and turning off the brine inlet valve. Next, remove the hose clamps from the water inlet, brine inlet, and oxidant outlet ports. Now remove the tubing from these ports. If you spill any liquids, be sure to clean them up to prevent corrosion to electrical and metallic fittings. The second step is to prepare your cleaning solution. We suggest using CLR, Lime Away, or vinegar, although there is a wide range of calcium carbonate cleaners on the market. Always read the label for directions on how to open, handle, and use the product. Step three. The third step is to prepare the recirculation loop. To do this, Install the one quarter inch tubing to the water inlet port and the other end into the bottle of the chosen cleaner. Next, install the 3 8 inch tubing to the oxidant outlet port and the other end into the bottle of the chosen cleaner. Step four. Step four is starting the recirculation of the cleaner. First, jumper the oxidant tank level switch. With the tubing now inside the cleaner bottle, Turn on the on-off switch. The system will enter the priming cycle, which will last a total of three minutes. Allow the peristaltic pump to circulate the acid mixture for those three minutes, and then let the solution stand for three minutes before restarting the priming cycle. Perform those steps two more times for a total of nine minutes circulation and six minutes of idle time. Turn the on-off switch to off after the third circulation. Step five, the next step is to rinse out the cleaning solution. Fill your one liter bottle with soft water and set it near your cleaner bottle. Now remove the one quarter inch tubing from the cleaner bottle and place it in the one liter bottle containing fresh water. Turn on the on off switch. Watch the system as the cleaner bottle fills up turning off the power when the cleaner bottle is full. Remove the 3 8 inch tubing from the cleaner bottle and empty the contents of the cleaner bottle. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's safety instructions for disposal of the cleaning solution. Reinsert the 3 8 tubing into the now empty cleaner bottle and turn the power back on. Continue priming the system until two full bottles of soft water have been circulated through the unit. You may have to empty the cleaner bottle multiple times, but this will ensure that all tubing is free of cleaning solution when finished. The sixth step is to return the cell and pump plumbing to normal operating conditions. Place the on-off switch to off. Start by disconnecting the tubing from the water inlet. Then install the original tubing from the water and brine valves matching up the labels.
Now open both the water and brine valves. Then connect the oxidant tank level switch to the level switch connector. Step 7. The seventh step is the cell water flush. Turn on the on off switch and run the priming cycle once to completion. Then use the pH strips to test the flush water and ensure there are no cleaning solution residual before continuing. If there is residuals detected, return to step 5 to further rinse with soft water. If the flush water tests clean, place the on off switch to off and then disconnect the 3 8 vinyl tubing from the oxidant outlet. Step 8. The final step is a system restart. Restart the system in accordance with the operations and maintenance manual. While the system stabilizes, continually check for leaks in the disconnected tubing lines. Monitor the system's operations for 15 to 20 minutes after the system cleaning has been completed. This concludes our instructional video on how to perform supplemental cleaning on the Rio Zuni unit. If you have any other questions, please give us a call or check out our website. Thank you for your time.